Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Capassi. I'm going to talk to you about how to assess for strabismus, for phorias, for tropias. We're going to talk about the cover and cover test. We're going to talk about the alternate cover test. Okay? Now, I've made this little contraption here. This is going to act as the occluder. This is occluder down. This is occluder up. We're going to keep the occluder up for most of the video. Okay? These are going to be my eyes. This is my right eye here. This is the left eye here. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the cover uncover test in a person who has alignment. They are ortho in normal position and there is no strabismus present. So we introduce the cover. The eyes don't move. We introduce the cover on the other side. The eyes don't move. And so cover, take away the cover. Eyes have not moved. Cover again, eyes don't move. Take off the cover, eyes don't move. Let's do that again. So that's cover, uncover. Uncovered, cover, eyes don't move. This test is used for finding tropias, manifest deviations in alignment of gaze. That means this deviation is going to be present all the time. It's not intermittent in nature. Let's take a look with deviation. These are my eyes. This eye is turned inwards. Okay? Now we're going to bring the cover up. This eye is fixating on the target. Bring the cover up, the eyes don't move. Take the cover away, the eyes still don't move. This eye is deviated inwards all the time. Put the cover up. How about if we did this test the other way? The eye is inwards, the cover is not there. Put the cover up, this eye can't see anymore. This eye fixates, but this eye turns in. Notice the switch now behind the cover. Take the cover away, this eye fixates, this eye turns inwards. Put the cover up, this eye fixates, this eye turns inwards. This is a manifest esotropia. What about phoria? Phoria means that the eyes are in alignment most of the time. Put the cover up, take the cover away, the eyes are in alignment. There is a mechanism in the brain called fusion that holds the eyes together. When the brain receives a stereo image, it's able to force the muscles to fuse the images to keep the eyes in alignment. You need to do the alternate cover test to break fusion, meaning that the brain is only going to get an image from one eye at a time, so it's not going to be able to use the stereo information, the information from two eyes, to hold fusion. You're going to break down fusion, you're going to get a deviation. This is a phoria by definition, not a tropia. It's latent, it's not manifest. So how's this going to work? Let's look at a patient, again, in ortho. Both eyes are aligned. You're going to cover one eye. Then previously we talked about uncovering that eye. Here one eye is covered, then you're going to alternate cover. Do move the cover straight over to the other eye and straight over back to the other eye. So there is never a moment where there's not one eye that's uncovered, okay? Or one eye that's covered, okay? So there's always, the occluder is always between one of the eyes. Let's take a look at this in a person who has latent phoria. So, this eye is turned inwards, okay? You put the cover on. So, once you're doing the alternate cover, you break down fusion, this eye turns inwards. It's straight. You alternate cover, this eye turns inwards, this eye is straight. Switch, 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 switch. Then you take away the cover. The eye is deviated, you tell the patient, the patient blinks, boom, it's straight again. You do the cover uncover test, it's not going to move. You do the alternate cover test, you find out that it's doing the switching. Take away the cover, eyes become straight. That's a phoria, and that's all there is to it.